Why you need 100 Luna today? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. Luna had its highest ever daily and weekly closes last week. It's really bullish for Luna. I see Luna breaking out in the next couple of weeks, similar to what happened here when Luna broke out, consolidated, chopped around for a bit, then went on that parabolic bull run. I see Luna doing something similar. So in this video guys, I'll also touch on the fundamentals of Luna as well. I, I, did, I have made detailed videos on Luna, why I like Luna, we've been hodling Luna since since five dollars but in this video i'll recap some of the uh, reasons why i like luna and share with you the latest news what luna is trying to do with programmable money algorithmic stablecoin how luna and usd work the burning mechanism it's an amazing project with the usd stablecoin a uh, growth coming up i see luna going fundamentally and chart wise having another massive move up so uh, before i you know get involved in the video what i want to first talk about is the title of the video and you know sometimes you might not get the best trade setup you know i've mistrades you know there are coins i'm mainly a trader but luna i do own some because you know tomorrow luna could break out and you might miss out on that trade if you wait for the pullback or you might not get your indicator set up so that's why i think you should just own some luna it might not have to be 100 it depends on how much money you have if you have you know hundred thousand maybe put ten thousand dollar in luna now if it drops to 40 buy a bucket load more if it starts breaking out you can look to add on a pullback so uh, because i like the project so much i think you know it's a good idea to get in some luna at the end of the video i will share a trade setup on luna you know in the youtube videos guys i share exactly where you're looking to buy where you're looking to sell uh, and all that trade setup same as the trade setup we shared with you uh, when luna broke five dollars you can go watch this video they're not hindsight similar to this video i could be wrong I could be right but i share with you all my trades live and beforehand in the rockstar trading group guys i can post my entries my targets when i'm getting in when i'm getting out my strategy a telegram group and all that good stuff if you are interested i'll leave the links below there's a special offer you can trial us for a month if you are interested now let's come back to the video so the first thing like i've said just look to get some in luna so if you have a hundred thousand dollar worth of money you want to invest in buy ten thousand if you have a ten thousand dollar buy a thousand dollars worth of luna it doesn't have to be exactly hundred but i think buying some luna is a good strategy and, and the reason why i'm saying that is it's broken out into new all-time highs previously when we've broken out into new all-time highs we have had rallies and in, in rockstar trading channel it's not just pump moon type uh, content I, I always share a risk management risk management is i don't want luna to start breaking below here if luna starts breaking below 40 dollars, i will be worried short term long term i'm massively bullish and like i've said i'm more of a trader but luna is a project that i do hold and i'll i think luna goes up a lot higher uh, what they're trying to do i'll touch on the fundamental news but the but the first part of the video i'll say buy some luna and you know buy some more on a dip to 42 and if we start breaking 40 dollars, then we can now make a video make sure you subscribe to the channel I'll, I'll update you guys on luna it's you know twitter has literally taken over by lunatic fans if you if you are a luna fan make sure you hit that like button here and subscribe and we'll let's grow the luna community so i'll let you guys know if that happens but for now i'm really bullish now let's get into the fundamentals guys investing in terra everything this is a really good article i've not read this before but i've read it now it's quite good so you know uh, terra seems to uh, alleviate many issues currently faced with world's top stable coin which is you know centralized is backed is collateralized and all that stuff it would you know you all know the tether funds uh, Luna or Terra, Terra has come with a programmable money where it's decentralized, it's permissionless, and it's an algorithmic stable coin. And people can come in, create stable coins, uh, the USD, the more popular one. Uh, and the way it works is it, 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 let me just read it out. It pegs to the, the US dollar and it uses Terra or Luna burning mechanism consensus to keep the price stable so i'll read this bit out this is a really good explanation the way it works is uh, you can also mint luna with terra tokens minting 100 dollars worth of luna would require burning 100 usd even if the market price of usd isn't one dollar per token the conversion rate of, of minting treats one usd as equal to one dollar so if the if the peg is there if luna prices gets higher than that it will 
more people would want to do it and then the price will uh, become one dollar so let's say the price of one usd falls to 0 0.2 two cent lower than the intended pegged value all the conversions between terra and stablecoin and luna one usd is treated as being w uh, worth one and an arbitrator sees this price difference and notices an opportunity to make money they proceed to buy L usd uh, at 98 dollars and then convert it to 100 dollars worth of luna and if the price goes to 1.2 they will do the opposite it, they'll sell Luna, buy USD, and this is how the peg is kept. And, and this mechanism, I think, is quite revolutionary in my opinion, the way it works. And um, it also shows the importance of Luna. So Luna is, is obviously, you can see the use cases of Luna here, the governance token, the utility token, the consensus mechanism, but also the way Luna gets burnt. And the increase in USD demand, you'll have to burn more Luna. That increases the value of Luna. So if the supply goes up and the demand is going up, uh, sorry, the supply is going down and the demand is going up, usually the price goes up. And this is why I think one of the main reasons why Luna prices has gone up. So that's just sort of like the overall view of what Terra, the main purpose of a programmable money. But it's not just that you can stake Luna. So on Anchor and Mirror Protocol, you can get rewards on your stable coins. You can, there's APY there's farming there's all that cool stuff i personally use it as well and again uh, people have requested let me know if you want that video do you want me to make a video on staking luna getting rewards on stable coin farming i think 180 120 percent apy some of them the m assets on mirror let me know in the comment section below and if i get enough com comments i'll make try and make a video by end of this month so and it's not just like that what that's uh, that's what luna is doing it's also got smart contracts there's some amazing amazing projects launching on terra ecosystem which is only going to help drive the luna price up and it's just one of the best communities i've seen so um yeah check this out this is a really good twitter account you can see if you want to stay up to date with what's happening with luna and terra ecosystems and make sure you give them a follow and uh, i'll try to tweet uh, tweet about them as well and you can see the amount of projects that's growing with the columbus five upgrade that we saw more and more projects are coming onto the terra and luna ecosystem they're not trying to compete with layer one solutions but they also have that option available um, if you talk about du Quan, he said his main goal is programmable money but they're also doing some other cool stuff and growing projects on the terra ecosystem and just to round up my thoughts on it you know we talk about cryptocurrency we want to see use cases and we want to see the programmable money and that's what luna is trying to do and in the future i think we're going to see a lot more of that and luna terra could play a leading part so that's a quick roundup uh, I've, I've done it live on you uh, on this video so let me know if i've missed something or i haven't said anything and let me know if, it, if you enjoy that uh, com uh enjoy that uh, quick roundup of what luna do luna does a lot more than that but that's my roundup on the fundamentals and why i think you should own some because you know i'll share a trade setup now but you might not get the trade setup and luna might just pump up so that's why i think it's best to own some put 10 percent, 20 percent in now and if you get a pullback or you get a trade setup above you can buy more first part of the video is just to own some second part i tried to talk about the fundamentals now come, let's come to my favorite bit that fund uh, the trading bit so my luna trade setup check out my twitter guys i posted an exact trade setup when luna broke above this it was covered on this video uh, like i said in the youtube video i tried to share the, the the zones and i'll share with you now that was the main trade stop below there and as long as it's holding above there we are long that was the last trade setup it chopped around i wasn't as accurate i thought it was going to hit 50 dollars around end of last month i was wrong but i was wrong uh, but i didn't i was i wasn't wrong i was late i was a bit too early and it hit that target five days after that's my target i took some profits and it broke out gave that pullback again that's a 50 percent 618 if you want to learn my strategy i look for a trend change breakout on bullish coins and then look to get in on that 50 percent 618 pullback around the moving average you see that over and over i've shared it live on youtube on twitter if you want the full uh, trading uh, strategy i'll leave the links below guys uh, there's a special offer it's not 40 pounds it's gonna be 30 pounds for the next three people so check it out when you click on it you'll get that offer so that's my strategy uh, it's already triggered now what i'm looking for is a breakout of this if we get like a four hour hourly close above i'm gonna just look to buy some luna initial stop will go below 45 as long as this bit holds i think luna will break out and head towards i mean it's not gonna 
another pump towards hundred dollars. My Fibonacci target is sixty-eight sixty-nine. That's where I think Luna is going to head towards if we break this level. If Luna doesn't break out and gives a pullback, this is going to be where I look to buy. I already own a lot of Luna, so I'm not just going to blindly buy. But if we see a trade setup, you know, chop around, break out. I'm going to look to buy more Luna here and that would be an amazing opportunity. If you ask me which is my ideal setup, it would be this because I'd make more money because I believe Luna will go up a lot higher long term. So this is the main trade setup I'd look for. Similar to the trade setups I shared, remember around here, buy the dips, chop around then break out. I want to see a similar setup here. So that's the two trade setups. Write this down, guys. I'll try to post when I'm getting in in the group. But guys, if you're not part of the group, I want to help you guys make money anyway. Write those levels down. Check your chart once a day and try to trade with it. So that's the two trade setups. Uh, before I end the video, again, Rockstar Trading Channel, I try to always talk about risk management. And the reason why I talk about that is, guys, if you're going to be in cryptocurrency for longer than, you know, five years 10 years you're gonna make money if you look at you know ethereum bitcoin the prices overall are going up and you could buy you know 2018 you could get in 2017 and you buy the top it dips but long term it's been going up so as long as you don't you know fomo sell or you know leverage trade and lose money you're gonna make money and that's why I talk about risk management, which is staying in the game. What I don't want you to do is watch this video, think Rock was bullish on Luna, go all in Luna with, you know, 100x leverage and get liquidated if it does a dip. That's the main thing. That's the main thing I teach. I won't teach you fancy trading strategies, indicators with 100% win rate. What I do teach is, you know, making sure you can protect your wealth. So if we do get them huge rallies, you can capitalize on them. And, you know, the and I'll have to be honest, it's not as best as buying Luna at $5, but I said the same thing around 30 dollars you know it's not as best as buying five dollars but you have to get in on good trade setups there's a couple of twitter friends i've got they've been in luna since less than a dollar and i wish i got in then and i didn't i waited for this dip and i wasn't going to miss that opportunity so that's why i said look to get in some now own some luna we can look to buy back on pullbacks but i think luna is a great project and you should own some so what's your thoughts do you agree with me do you think you should own some luna in 100 luna or 50 luna 25 luna whatever luna do you think you should own some comment below your price predictions your thoughts on luna and let's have a discussion and if you are interested in the rockstar trading gr uh, group i'll leave the links below like i said there's a special offer for you to try if not guys just hit that like button it, it really motivates me to provide you guys content and let me know if you want more luna content luna has been the most popular coin on my channel it's previously we've had cardano tron litecoin pancake swap and loads of coins luna seem to be the most popular so if you are a lunatic fan make sure you hit that like button and if you are interested in a luna staking anchor mirror protocol video comment below i'll try to make that video so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go luna